1090 J. What's y'all opinion on him? Y'all feel like he a culture vulture? Y'all feel like he, he doing too much? He doing? He he doing what he supposed to do? Like he exposing <laughs> shit? Who's 1090 J? He who that is? Why would he be telling YouTube. He do the YouTube paperwork. Nah, he's snitching. Why he be exposing everybody? Yo. Yeah. Oh, nigga. What you mean? What you mean? He, they need to beat his ass. They don't need to beat shit. Fuck, nigga. Keep doing that shit. Fuck, nigga. Expose them bitch ass. You ain't snitching. You got nothing to worry about. You feel me? Expose them fuck, nigga. Because if they ain't want to be no fuck, nigga, then don't be that. Because he, you feel me? You ain't want to be no fuck, nigga. It's in my family. No fuck, oh. nigga. <laughs> Never. Don't be <see> that. <laughs> see, this is why you take a moment to think before you speak, so you don't speak on a person or a situation you know nothing about. Y'all from the Springs, ain't it? The same sulfur Springs. I caught my gun case when I was a jit. When y'all was still little kids, when I was doing my dirt as a jit. See, I don't even know that. I went to Chamberlain High before I was going to the tent and all that shit. And then I had to go to Paxson and East Tampa because I couldn't go to a regular high school no more. Y'all didn't know that shit, did you? I grew up on Waters Ave. I got picked up for popping off on 12th and Yukon. You know, there's a lot of history that I personally have in Sulphur Springs. I'm sure none of y'all know about. But I know about one of y'all's history that's sitting on that couch with testifying in the case. Ain't that shit crazy? What's good with it, YouTube? It's Coffee on the vid. Tapping back in, man. And things is just getting crazy for 1090 Jake, right? You heard him going off there on these rappers, you know, was speaking about him in an interview. And it's like 1090, think about it, y'all. The rap game is wild, you know. And we saw, like, for instance, when he exposed Boston Richie's telling, you know, like individuals came out, they made that fake paperwork. Um, you know, like with the blogosphere, um, we know this, a lot of rappers ain't really living that life like some of them front like they are, which there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's not like hip hop has to all be, you gotta be super official, you know, like that ass aside from this whole 1090 thing, like that is not all hip hop is about is the streets. You feel me? But, um, when it comes to cats who are pushing them type vibes and, and pushing that line or claim to be image is everything you know um but at the same time there's rappers that did indeed get exposed for telling and didn't really affect their career but a lot of these rappers that are on the come up like as we just saw when he dropped uh you know some paperwork talking about he has it on the individuals that were on the double xl freshman list their career hasn't even took off yet you know and it's it's just wild, man. Like we saw Wack 100 go at him. Um, we saw the Boston Richie, the ish with his camp. And there's just a lot of wild games that get played in the blogosphere when individuals are beef and where, you know, because nowadays it's like you can have the receipts, you can push that out or whatever it is. And then motherfuckers might just say, hey, well, we'll try to launch campaigns against you. And then there's the beef side of things. Uh, he already told a story when he pulled up, I think in Florida, when he was down there doing fresh and fit, some cats pulled up and they had a standoff with weapons drawn. It's just crazy, man. You know, like 1090s doing his thing. He done showed he's the six figure felon done made over a million dollars. And his, you know, his platform is is doing very well in, in everything. But it's just you got to take into account. Like, I'm not saying he's backing down or he's scared, but it's just think about it, man. It's it's a tricky game out here and it, things can get things can get spicy, I guess. I don't know, man. But uh, comment with your thoughts on all that. But these rappers here, uh, I'm not really up on them like that. Comment if you fuck with their mu music, GG Osama um a taliban duda and uh there's another cat they're pumping and promoting this new track they just dropped but they get asked about 1090 jake right and i'm like man uh, were they really dissing them you know because for the most part it sounded like they were showing love you know saying like keep doing you he's exposing these rats um you know if you ain't ratting you don't have anything to tell about or to worry about but then uh, there was someone 
I don't know if it was one of the dudes that were on the couch or chilling in the cut that we couldn't really see saying, oh, he needs his ass whooped, you know? And 1090 just goes off with that video. Oh, y'all are from Sulphur Springs. That used to be my old stomping grounds. You know, they say I uh, was busting shots over there and I caught a case. I was doing this in the streets, you know, wiling out when y'all were kids. I was already on my... um you know, ish and all that, like, you know what I mean? And, and now he's not doing that no more, right? He's he's doing this with his platform and networking and moving along and meeting new people and everything like that. But then at the same time, he's doing this paperwork stuff. So it's just, it's just a wild situation, most definitely to say the least when you take all of that into account. But you heard him. He's like, I got uh, paperwork on one of you dudes sitting on the couch that testified in a case. And it's like, you see, also threw up the caption saying, oh, you wanted a GG Osama video. You should have just said so. Like, it's wild. You know, we know 1090's got paperwork in the cut that he hasn't even come forth with. You know, he's taking his time dropping vids when he does. And it's just wild, man. And then things get tricky in the comments, too. Because you see one dude, you know, trying to call out 1090 Jake. And once again, that paperwork was debunked, fake, you know, which, again, that was crazy. Like when Wack was mad that 1090 exposed his man, CEOP, he goes in and like brings back up that fake paperwork. Like Wack doesn't even know that was a whole uh, situation that played out. And, you know, like it, it's just crazy to me that the dude already got exposed that he had the fake paperwork and then he goes back and collabs with whack like it's new news it's 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 bonkers out here man like this this blogosphere ish is absolutely crazy man but this dude says all i'm saying is jake told a story about getting caught with a uh you know strap and sulfur springs and they let his ass go show me a dude with that story I don't feel for nobody that got exposed so far, but Buddy talking down on dudes ratting to get out when he not facing the same pressure they is. Somebody who actually faced a heavy sentence and stood tall should be doing that. Not somebody who dress up and play gangster, but don't gotta play by the same rules. If he did everything he said he did on YouTube channel, why did he only get a year and some months? Why would he tell? That's a blessing. Meanwhile, a dude be 16 years old facing 20 uh, similar charges. And then Jake says, I went to prison for that gun. What the fuck are you talking about? And then um, he, uh, this dude says, there's a video on your page. You said you didn't get charged for nothing, not even firing the gun. The video is titled, I fired the gun, she died. 28 minutes in, you're saying you wasn't charged. Either you was lying then or you're lying now. And then uh, 1090's back in here. Uh, what do you say? He responds again. There's just, yo, it's crazy. These comments is, is turned up. You know, like there's a, a, a at one point a dude in here hitting 1090, it seems like. Uh, the people in other people in the comments are like, yo, it looks like he's trying to beg 1090 to not make a video on him. But this dude says, uh, 1090, let me explain something to you, dog. Keep exposing these lames. Dudes talking all that G-ish, but bogus in real life. A lot of these dudes want to play in the streets, but don't want to live with the consequences of the street life. If you're thugging, then death or prison comes with this ish. The only people who are mad about where the information about dudes uh, coming from are the rappers and the people who are eating off the rappers. So that's an interesting point. Kind of what I was getting at with the Boston Richie ish. Some of the individuals back in the cut, you know, who were trying to pump out ish to diminish Jake's character where like dudes like from a standpoint some people in his circle but some of them were just like on a business level you know uh tied up with the label and stuff like that you know and think about it man a lot of these labels and you know this issue is all based off relationships and money and and things of that nature you know so like say 
for instance, like how WAC 100 manages people. When I'm using WAC as an example, I'm not tie like tying his name to that situation. I'm just saying like, say how he has a relationship with CEOP or different individuals. And then like a, a rapper that they fluck with, you know, um, who uh, someone is putting a lot of money into at that time um is about to get exposed and you know not at a point where they're already solidified in the game and got their core fan base where they're gonna do numbers regardless they might be like yo we gotta try to combat this in some way and then that's how like smear campaigns rumors just different things get started and, and in the blogosphere that's why everything that gets posted you gotta pay attention to and break it down and analyze it and be like where is this coming from? Is this official? Because a lot of the times, um, I've explained this before in certain situations, right? A video can get put out and uh, it could be a lie or you could make a video saying, hey, we're debunking this. Kind of like in the 1090 Jake situation where it was clearly exposed that the paperwork didn't exist. It was fake. It was one piece, one page on the end of some real paperwork. And then, you know, it, when you really looked at it, it wasn't even that hard to decipher it when whoever made it flucked up and, you know, uh, like the officer's badge number changed and just different weird little things. And then you're like, oh, this ish is Fugazi as fluck. It's a Fugazi. It's a Fugazi. You know what I mean? And um, but you put a video out and debunk it and some people still take it in that it's real because, a lot of cats really ain't looking too deep into this ish out here. You know, it's like more or less what I'm getting at is in, in you know, these companies and management firms and tailing agencies and manage it like, you know, have have learned how to manipulate people via the blogosphere. Like, yo, if we just post something enough times from different places, people will just say, oh, that's real, you know, so. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's 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 a crazy game out here. And I think things are going to continue to be getting uh, crazy for 1090 because he's in a he's in a wild business. You know, there's a, a lot of different factors to kind of pay attention to in all this, you know. So. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's what I was getting at where he said a lot. A lot of these dudes, um, the only people who are mad about where the info about dudes um you know, who are bogus are the rappers and the people who are eating off the rappers, period. Game is game. Don't matter where the info comes from. These dudes talking all that fat man gangsta ish are true. Same ones or I'm sorry, are the same ones who will talk about six, nine. Keep exposing those lames. Fluck who don't like it. Signed Dogface Calderon reporting live from the east side of Detroit. I'm not really up on who dude is he's got a blue check mark but uh he had some very intriguing points there you know uh so then uh, you know 1090 expose him we need it 1090 it's funny how they mad about getting exposed when they was all over 6ix9ine telling but when it's them now they don't like it fuck that expose them someone says he's probably gonna get smoked now Check this out. Now, this is odd, too. This is definitely a troll page. Says 1090s are rad himself, uh, though. He got paperwork. And then he, he's talking about search it up. And 1090 says, yeah, you ain't speaking on that video when they called Tampa PD and they said that paperwork don't exist, though. So, you know, clearly that's someone else again referencing back to the fake paperwork, you know? I don't know, man. And then it looked like 1090 and Wack were collabing on something the other day when it came to the finesse two time situation. And then, you know, uh, Wack started going off and 1090 exposed, Wack paid for some paperwork. Like this, this, that, that Jake got for free. Like this game is dirty. This, yo, is worse than like dirty politicians going at each other out here in the blogosphere, man. No, no cap. And uh, this dude says, I never knew 1090 was from the city. And then 1090 uh, is talking to someone here. He says, I thought I heard somebody say I needed to get my ass whooped or something. Maybe I'm tripping. Uh, so that's kind of like how I was saying, damn, were they even dissing Jake? It sounds like someone asked him that, like, yo, what are you? Um, what are you talking about? You know, and then um, but apparently that get your ass whoop it's just rubbed him the wrong way but i don't know i feel like jake a lot of times just feels like 
uh, you know, he's got to let motherfuckers know, hey, don't try me. I don't know. I, I wouldn't give two fucks if I was him getting that kind of bag, you know. Then this dude says, 1090, Duda defended you. I don't know. And I, I don't know, but it's wild, man. What do y'all think about this? 1090 going at it with these rappers. Uh, he's, he heard him say, someone say his name, something he didn't like. And, uh, you know, he claims he has paperwork on one of these guys that ratted. And, you know, he had to let him know, hey, uh, where y'all are from, I used to get active out there you know so tap in comment share your thoughts share your thoughts on you know this whole situation as far as i'm talking about with 1090 like do you think it's going to be a rough role for him you know as he continues to expose rappers it's, it's wild out here man we've seen people run into some serious problems for a lot less in this blogosphere era and when i say that i'm not wishing any of that on anyone you know um but i'm just trying to be realistic so there you have it uh 1090 tap in comment uh sub up i'll catch y'all on the next one guys i'm out of here peace